Hello everyone, and welcome back to this ANSYS Discovery Learning Track for Topology Optimization. In this video, we will be reviewing geometry and post-processing operations for optimized models. Let's get started. As you can see in our geometry tree, we have a facet body from a topology optimization simulation. As a quick refresher, we can create this geometry by clicking the Add Optimized Body to Model button when a topology optimization is completed. Let's go up to our geometry tree and review our potential operations by right-clicking on the facet body. This will expose an additional menu. As you can see, there are a variety of different operations that we can perform, so let's go ahead and review them. First, you can see that we can create a validation simulation. Let's go ahead and click this option. Discovery's Explore Solver possesses the unique ability to solve directly on faceted geometries. As you can see, our physics boundary conditions have been reapplied in the exact same locations as our original model. You can use this validation simulation to further interrogate the performance of your optimized geometry. Let's go back to our original simulation by clicking the arrow above our simulation information display and choosing our first simulation that you see here. Now that we've covered the validation simulation, let's proceed to some geometry operations. First, we can see our smooth facets option. This will simply smooth the model and create a new faceted body. These operations might take a minute or so, but for the sake of this video, I have already prepared the examples in this component below. If I turn on visibility on the smooth facets model by clicking this icon here, you can see how the operation has changed our geometry. If you plan to send your STL to a slicer for 3D printing, I would recommend this operation. The next operation we have is to convert the facet body into a sub D model. This allows us to create a subdivision surface model, which gives us an incredibly flexible way to model and modify organic shapes like topology optimization results. With our sub D tab on our ribbon, we can modify the geometry with our direct modeling tools of pull, move, and fill, but we can also access sub D specific features as shown in this modify section. For example, we can use the bridge feature to create additional reinforcement areas. If you have interest in further exploring subdivisional modeling, please be sure to watch our dedicated tutorial on that topic. The last geometry operation that we can complete is the conversion to solid. Conversion to solid also has the options of surfaces, mostly tessellated and fully tessellated. The example that I am showing here is our surface option. This operation will smooth the facets and fit surfaces onto the facets and then create a solid body by stitching those patches together. I would generally recommend using this option when possible. Mostly tessellated will convert your faceted shape to a solid model with facets and flat areas merged together, but curved areas will retain their faceted shape. Fully tessellated converts your faceted shape to a solid model, but converts each facet into a face on the solid. While I'm showing these operations from a right-click menu of Topology Optimization Simulation, these operations can also be accomplished on the Sub-D and Facets tab. The Facets tab includes a variety of cleanup and modification tools for faceted geometries like topology optimization results and reverse engineering scan data. Finally, you can of course utilize the Sub-D tab for the operations that we had shown before. Thank you for watching this video on topology optimization and ANSYS discovery. Thank you and take care.